Shine your light, Jesus, on us. I can see the light coming. Listen, this is Monday Morning Meditation with Bishop A.M. Moore. God bless each and every one of you. I love you so, 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 so much. Again, we are excited about this privilege to decree and declare what thus saith the Lord uh, together to help our week uh, as we embark on the next to the last week of August. Can you believe how quickly the year is passing? Listen, want to jump right into it because this is a hot one for me and a different type of declaration than what we uh, made in the past. Um, the month of August has been focused on stating the fact that I'm growing because of my sowing. And we've used Genesis 26 and 12. I want to go back there again as far as our declaration for today. It says, And Isaac sowed in that land, and in the same year he reaped a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the Lord blessed him. Now, the sowing and the reaping is a principle process, uh, and it is proof positive. Okay, it's a principle and a process that is proof positive. And the scripture says, and the Lord blessed him. He benefited him the more. And so the process yields a certain return, but the benefiting more, uh, the blessing supersedes or adds additionally uh, to what the process Produces. Now, I want you to declare this that uh, a Waskis seed or a Waskis sowing has a purpose, a person, a purpose, and a person. Your sowing has uh, a purpose and a person, watch this, and a prophet. Okay? Okay? Your sowing, you put your name there has a purpose, a person, and a prophet, okay? When you sow, understand this, my brothers and my sisters, it has a purpose. It's always identified through where it is aimed, what is talking, wait a minute, I hear the Lord. Uh, your, your sowing has a purpose, a place, okay, a person, and a prophet. That's what he told me. That's what he told me. A waskis sowing has a purpose, a place, a person, and a prophet. When, when, when you sow, understand this, your time, your talent, your treasure, your, 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 your temple, uh, understand this, your words, uh, it has a purpose. I always be clear on the purpose. It has a place. I always be clear on the place. It has a purpose, a person, and it has a prophet. So now, what what this text or what this pericope, this passage of scriptures prove that when Isaac adhered uh, to the Lord in purpose, in place, in person, he profited. So, so when I adhere to God, I do what he says do. I sow where he says so. I sow what he says so. Whether it's my time, my talent, my treasure, my temple, whether it's my words. When I do that, I position myself to see something. Yes, Greta, I see you. See something fantastic happen. So a waski sowing has a purpose, a place, a person and a prophet. <laughs> so when you sow, understand those four dynamics and watch what happens for you. Watch what happens for you. Okay? Watch what happens for you. And when you go and look at that passage, you'll see because now um, um, uh, the, when the servants got involved with it, th those were the persons. Okay? Uh, that, that followed his leadership, they also enjoyed the benefit of the harvest. They also enjoyed the benefit of the harvest, of the water sprouting up. 
And Lord knows right about <laughs> right about now, I think we can use some rain and uh, some temperatures dropping just a tad bit. But in the midst of it, when you sow on purpose in the right place, even when it looks like it's the wrong place, because at that particular time, sowing in Garoa looked like the wrong place. What ended up happening? That God got involved. Hallelujah. Man, I'm excited this morning about this revelation. So your sowing has a purpose, has a place, has a person, <laughs> and it has a profit. So don't take the process for granted. It's going to yield something, produce something, show something, manifest something that's going to be beneficial for you. So throughout this week, be very cognitive of the purpose of your sowing, the place of your sowing, persons that you sow into, and last but not least, the profit that comes from it. God loves you, so do I. Have an awesome and fantastic week. I can't wait to hear the testimonies of what God is going to do in your life. Have a great day.